Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm making a delicious garlic herb butter. So versatile, you can put it on garlic bread obviously, on your pasta, put it on your veggies, fish, beef, everything. Oh, no, I'm serious. The ingredients are very, very simple. I use dried herbs, a little bit of olive oil, and a pretty good butter, unsalted if you can. They're the ingredients list. Okay, let's get started, y'all. Let's do this. So cut your butter up into one inch cubes. You'll definitely want it more cold than room temp, that's for sure. Okay, and in a small bowl, you want to combine your herbs, parsley flakes, oregano, and I use dried herbs because you get way more mileage out of those than the fresh. Put some basil, some chives, give it a stir. Add your olive oil. That's one tablespoon. Give it a stir. I added in my salt here, that's about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. So if you're using salted butter, of course, you leave it out. Combine it, set it aside, but keep it nearby. All right, so next up, we want to peel our garlic. I just use the old smash and peel method, smashing it with the back of the knife, getting your aggressions out. And you want to chop your garlic nice and fine, right? So there's two steps to this part. So the finer that you chop it on the first part, the better off it'll be for you on part two. As you can see, I'm using an easily washable mini plastic cutting board on top of the larger board. That helps too, definitely. So my herb mix is nearby, taking a little small bit of the chopped garlic. I use the back of the knife to grind it into a fine paste. You can use a mortar and pestle for this, but easy to show this way on camera is very easy to do. You just, as you see, you keep filing and grinding until you've ground it, your garlic down into a very fine paste, add it to your herb mix, go bits at a time. Keep applying a little bit more pressure as you go until you're done. giving it all a stir and we'll just pretend that's the end of the garlic moving on to the butter same method few cubes at a time dump your herb mix out onto your board and basically you're just gonna fold the butter and the herb mix together you see that's why you want your butter cold because if it were room temp as you can see it softens as you fold and risk it melting on you which you don't want but yeah you just keep going until you're done keep folding it in a few cubes at a time it's very simple very easy and way cheaper than those pre-made kinds in the stores Look at that. <laughs> Stores in an airtight container in the fridge for a good while. 10 days, two weeks, but good luck keeping it that long. Certainly not around here. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you make it and enjoy. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Never pee in the shower. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I remember when you did that. <laughs>